everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the first episode of OmniFactory version 2. Well, I call it that, but that's more of my Let's Play version than it is the mod pack version. Regardless, here we are in the dev version of OmniFactory. And uh, I am really excited to get into this. As I mentioned before in the prior episode, episode 0, there are some pretty cool things that I am looking forward to, namely the processing array. But also, there is a simple fact that modular machines now are overclockable. The microverses, if you'll remember from my previous Let's Play, they were large machines that allowed me to send off little tiny ships to get resources. Well, now I can make a machine that will be, be powered with even more power so that the runtime will be a lot less. Anyway, uh, as you can see here, I'm in a plains biome in nighttime. I did make sure this time to uh, up my gamma so that I'm not in the darkness. And it's probably about on par with how bright it was in my last Let's Play, after I fixed it, it is. Okay, so... Oh dear. I wanted to get some wood here. Ah! That's another thing I need to fix, the stupid control system. Uh, let's see, you can do this real quick. There we go. Okay, I, uh, I really wish I had started this at daytime, but I think we'll be fine for the time being. Hey, uh, you know what? Let me uh, pause here, and I will come back. Okay, I think that's enough waiting. Yeah, so I kind of just uh, made a quick diggy hole there. Okay, so... Oh, what the hell? Now we are in daytime, and now we can go chop down trees freely. However, uh, I'm probably just going to get some... a few pieces of wood here and a lumber axe, and then... Uh, well, we'll see. I was going to say, I should probably just cut and go get a little base of operations going, and then come back. But, um, well... I'll see how things go. Because, I mean, honestly, there's only so much you can see in the beginning of the game before things get boring. Okay, there's the wood, right? Yeah. And bada boom. Okay, lumber axe. Nice. Okay, so there we go. Chop that down and get all those saplings. Some food there. That's nice. Oh, rubber tree. Gotta get that. That is good to have. Get a sapling? Oh, didn't you get a sapling? Really? Crap, okay. Um, oh, here we go, another tree. Another thing I just realized, I don't ha I have my texture pack on, so I will probably have that fixed in the next episode, assuming I don't forget. But um, I will be using the same textures that I used in my previous Let's Play. All right. All right, so we've got a big old ocean over there. And I think from... Oh, sugar cane. That's going to be good to have. Uh, I'll take some of that, too. I believe there's a desert-ish area nearby here. As well as a lost city, so that will be useful for later. Uh, yeah, there's a beach over there, from what I can see on the uh, west part of the map. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so there is a desert city over there. But for the time being, uh, like I said, let's get a base of operations going. I think this is a... Hmm. Oh, there's some iron there, so it might be a good idea to set up shop here. I think uh, right around here is pretty good. Okay, so let's get started with some simple tools. Then, you know what? We're gonna go for a crate here. And we have the wood. I think we should be fine. There we go. Oh, we need more wood. There we go. And bada boom. Big boy crate. Okay. All right, so that is that. But now, let's get the starting quest out of the way here. 
So Genesis, you know, this is the typical welcome to the pack. Gives you the hammers, the void cake, the overworld cake, and all that good stuff. So I'll take that. Uh, get these quests. Some of these quests, for those who aren't initiated, are just there to give you information and don't really require an item. Some of them uh, will give you coins just for reading the quest. Okay. So now we have hammers. Diamond hammers are very nice. They will be very useful for getting the early game digging going, as it were. But I am going to make a quick shovel. And I don't have any cobblestone yet, of course. So let's see here. I think I'm going to make a diggy hole. Somewhere over here. This will be my official, like, staircase to bedrock, right? Oh, dear. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dig down. And uh, I will come back if there's anything interesting. And, or if there's not, I'll just uh, reconvene back at the home. And we'll go from there. All right. See you all short. Okay. We are back for the moment. So, uh, as you can see, I've built a tiny little house for myself. This is by no means permanent. In fact, uh, I want to make sure I set my home. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, this is by no means permanent. I'm just making a safety enclosure for when the night comes. Uh, you know, just gathering the resources first. And then going from there, of course. Now, I need food, and I need food bad. But I can't... I'm pretty just trying to think, what is the quickest way of eating food? There's apples. There's animals. Oh, dog. Oh, God. Help. There's the, uh, you know, growing plants. But I need to get either some carrots or potato seeds. Uh, I'm just trying to find... There was an opening in the ground where I saw some magnetite. Uh, well, this is not the exact spot, but um, yeah, we'll need to get food squared away shortly. I think it's over this way. But uh, anyway, on the map, uh, I actually have a redstone little waypoint up there because I had found some redstone along the way. Now, I believe there was a few diamonds that I had found. Not enough, not a lot, but I dug them up anyway. And they are back at the home. Now, I can't seem to find that opening in the ground. I might just go back to digging and uh, updating you all. Oh, here we go. Magnetite. Oh, hello. Okay, so this is good. Oh, vanadium. Okay. So, magnetite is the good stuff. Vanadium magnetite is it's okay, but it's basically nuggets. Not Well, you get nuggets when you smelt the ore is what I'm trying to say. Versus the dust to the ingots. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mine this up. Because A, we have a lot of iron here. And B, a lot of gold. Uh, that's the great thing about iron and gold is that they typically or can spawn together at the same time in these uh, super Greg tech veins. So, all right, I'm going to get all this stuff. It's going to be a good boost to get some quests done. And then from that point on, I'll be able to buy some ores that I'm going to need to get the other quest done. And hopefully things will smooth out as we progress oh dear i ran out of torches okay well that's not a big deal i should be fine just to dig but uh yeah in the meantime i'm gonna go digging some more and i will come back when i have made some decent progress all right see you all shortly hey okay so uh, i think i'm gonna stop digging for now as you can see i got this big old chasm and i've got about oh let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven full stacks of actual iron. Three stacks of gold. Oh, another, okay, another stack of iron. 
but also some uh, iron nuggets. But anyway, I've got quite a bit of resources here. So I'm going to pop on back home. I'm going to pop everything into the chest here. Uh, I've got some apples, so that's fortunate. Uh, I'm going to work towards getting that food rather quickly. Oh, torches. Yeah, I could have used those. Okay, so uh, the quest book. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need some furnace eye or furnaces or whatever. I guess furnaces is accurate. Okay, so one, two, three. Now I have an idea in mind for how I want to structure my home. My permanent home, that is. And we'll get to that in due time. In the meantime, I want to talk about some other things, some other exciting things um, in the mod pack, some of which I've added myself. Uh, well, I think most of which I added myself. Uh, but anyway, so I added two mods. Uh, one you'll remember from my previous Let's Play, Compact Machines, the machine mod, the, the mod that allows me to make a large room, shrink down, and store things inside. Now, I think the only reason I'm going to be needing one of those is for the big old towers, the cryogenic towers. Otherwise, any fuel processing or fluid processing can all be done in parallel with the processing array. Okay, so one of the things I've added is a mod called Thermal Dynamics. And I'm only going to be using this mod... What? Viaduct, long range viaduct. Uh, what? Can you not make these? What's going on here? Um, hmm. Wait, player duct? No. Duct? Is it really just. Untreated. Hmm. Maybe I need to do some research on this. But, um, okay. For now, this isn't a thing, but... I thought I would be able to make a viaduct so that I can teleport um, around, but I guess it's not working right now. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, we got some iron cooking up. We'll grab that out. Okay, so 12 wrought iron. So I've already talked about compact machines. I've already talked about the seemingly broken thermal expansion mod. Maybe there's something that I don't know about in regards to this. wonder if we only use this. I'll figure it out in creative mode. But, um, yeah. Okay. So, we could buy potatoes, I believe, can't we? Potato. Okay, yeah, so that's two pennies. That's going to be super cheap. Oh, you know what? Now that I got all this iron, it might be beneficial to upgrade some furnaces. So, let me just go ahead and do that right now. So that, okay, I mean, it won't matter. These two are normal furnaces, so they won't lose any items if I were to break them. I know that was a bug in prior versions, but I'm going to assume that has been since fixed, but I don't know for sure. Is that going to count towards the quest book? No, okay, I need to get eight more pieces of wrought iron for the quest, and then that will pop on up. But... This will be a little bit quicker. So that... Oh, here we go. Uh, still need more. Three more pieces, hopefully. Right? Twelve? Yeah. Okay. So once we get this quest, uh, I believe the quest book has been since improved to be able to detect when one quest has finished and then update the next quest uh, as far as if you had made 
the next quest is item, right? Okay, so detect. Yep, okay, so that's done. It recognized that we made the furnace. So next would be copper. Um, but real quick, I'm just going to take some potatoes here. I'm going to take... I'm going to take... I guess I'll do iron tool. So I'm going to make a quick hoe. All right. It's daytime, so I'm good to go outside. Just going to whack the ground here a little bit. Oh. Trying to get a worm. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have our worm. Good. So I think I'll put the food out here. All right, so I'll put that down. And... I'll get water later for the time being that is good um well you know what let me just do some more crap there we go okay so before i leave this i need to torch up the ground put that back no nope. what oh was that, a, was that a coal block? Oh, it's iron block. Okay. Never mind. All right, so that should be sufficient on being able to grow. So let's... Where did the coal go? Cook up some potatoes real quick. I don't have any leather right now, so I can't make a knife, and I can't make potato french fries. But that won't be an uh, issue for long. We're just kind of working on the early game stuff right now. All right, so this is kind of... Oh, wait, no, not that quest. This is kind of what I was going on earlier. There will be quests where you have a reward, and all you got to do is hit a checkbox. So we're getting some more nickels. That has no reward. Uh, hammers, check. More nickel. Uh, charcoal. Okay, here's some wood. Let's get that cooked up. <clears throat> Sorry, hiccups. Oh man, I got some bad acid reflux going on here. Didn't even, haven't even ate anything recently. Okay, so. That should give us, yep, that quest is done. That needs an iron lumber axe. So we'll grab that. Bada boom. Get now nickel. Okay, so work tables. We're gonna to need to go to a lost city to find some bookshelves. Okay. All right. So copper ore. Copper ore. That is two nickels. But it doesn't like being crafted in a two by two, I guess. There we go. Copper. We're gonna save one of those. And then we're gonna smelt up the rest here. Now, can I do anything extra with the potato? Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna need the knife. Or, no, okay, I thought there was a smelt. Okay, uh, got some food for now. So, um, uh, ideally, I want 16 copper, so that I can go for the next furnace, and then I'm going to need silver. Okay, so silver ore. While we're waiting for that to smelt, we'll go ahead and get the silver going on. Oh, dear. Okay, I need to wait then for the copper. Okay, that's going to take a while still. Uh, anything useful? Okay, gold. We'll get that smelted up here. I could go for some more wood. That's a good, good idea. Uh, the saplings, or the rubber trees, is... Oop. Okay. Alright, so that's that. There's some trees over here. Now, there is a lost city over there. So, I might pop my head over there. Soon. If not right now. And see about getting any nice loot. Like, uh, a blaze stand. 
I remember last let's play. I couldn't remember what the blaze stand was for. Well, the time um, I didn't. I, I then came to realize that the blaze powder that you get from the uh, rod is used to make the DML model. Uh, I don't know if that was ever like. I don't know if I'm just like bringing up an old uh, story that was cleared up back then or what, but. I don't know. My brain likes to work in mysterious ways, I guess. Okay. Uh, where did they, where did I put the trees? Hello? Oh, over here. Yeah, it's gonna take a while for me to get reused to this area. Nope. I like to plant these saplings in a checkerboard fashion. Honestly, I don't know if it makes a difference, but I kind of feel it does sometimes. Okay. So we got rubber wood and we got rubber uh let's get some charcoal in there there we go and we got some more copper we got enough okay so let's upgrade these bad boys so use copper bam copper furnaces okay now we can make one gold for oh no we can't we need a silver furnace. That's right. So, but now we have, no, we don't have it yet. Uh, let me go back to the quest book. There we go. Claim that. Okay. Uh, silver ore. There we go. Okay, doke. Uh, pop that in there. And we get some more charcoal this way. Get the iron from our other smelts because we're going to need a lot more iron. Oop. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, so that reminds me. For those that don't know, there is the end game tab here. And yeah, it's a lot when you look at it like this. But I zoom in here, right? And I say, oh, I completed the iron quest. Well, hey, I get 25 Omni pennies or a quarter. So that is nice. An extra five nickels, right? So we could buy more ore that way. Um, I see. I I think we also want to go ahead and buy some tin ore. I mean, that's always going to be useful. So tin ore. There we go. I'm going to be buying quite a bit of ore because it's just honestly the smart thing to do. No use in hoarding coins, as it as it were, anyway. Tin, oop, silver. Uh, I need a little bit more silver. Then I can upgrade the furnaces. Also need more gold. Uh, let's see, I need one, two, three, nine, no, uh, no. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three. And we'll have enough gold to make two furnaces. Uh, do we... No, we don't have enough diamonds to make a furnace yet. Uh, I would need more for that, which I can't even afford the diamond ore right now anyway. Okay. So that one is good to go. Oh, uh, get rid of some crap. There we go. Okay. So where the furnace upgrade is silver. Hold it in my hands. The quest recognizes it and put it back down. Of nickel. Do we have enough nickels for a no? Okay. Still need more nickels if you want to get uh more diamonds purchased. So the gold furnace. We got that. Oh, I only did this one right now. So silver to gold. And hold the furnace for a bit. There we go. Uh, is that enough now? No. Uh, so I'm going to pause here and I'm going to queue up some smelting and then I'm going to prepare myself possibly to go. Mm, actually, you know what? We're getting kind of close to the end here. So I'm just going to do some smelting and then I'll come back and see if there's anything we can do before we call it episode. And then from there, next episode, probably I'll go to the city to grab some things, come back, and work on getting some tools going. And then once I have 
Once I have power gen going, I'm going to get a building gadget, exchanging gadget, and start making my actual house. So that's kind of a rough road plan for right now. Anyway, I will be back shortly. Okie dokie, we are back. So I did a little bit of uh, expanding of the base here, and I'm probably going to do another expansion um, just so I can get enough basic machines going to... Well, again, I just want to get power generation and power storage. Then I can charge things, right? So from there, then I'll make the more permanent base while kind of dealing with some progression along the way. Okay, so I have here in my little chest a bunch of redstone that I smelted up, iron, silver, gold, and more iron. So most of the things here are smelted. Uh, it's just taking care of some vanadium magnetite right now. Uh, got some more nuggets here. And other than that, I think we are good to progress. So, I think the next step would be tools. But I don't have the workbench to make this easier. So, you know what? Uh, what time is it outside? Okay, it's nighttime. Okay, I don't think there's much I want to do right now at that point. Well, I guess I can make that. Uh, a grappling hook oh. is always going to be good. And of course, I want the ender hook here, but that'll take some time. Okay, so let's quickly... Maybe two, we need six of that, right? And then, bada boom. Sticks, 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 sticks. There we go. And bada boom. And there we go. So, let's see, inventory, no. Invent what? There we go. So, pop that in. Okay, we need to fix that key. Uh, show context. Okay, I think draconic. Let's see. See, I'm just gonna get rid of these. Tool. I think that. 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 Okay, I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. So the hook works now. So that will be good for later when I get the better hook. But the hook now is good to have because of being able to scale the lost cities. Um, yeah, so I have diamonds, but I don't have enough for what I want to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn my diamonds into a shovel. Uh, that will be useful for, uh, well, getting some more resources, namely clay, sand, and gravel. Uh, that will probably be a next episode off-camera collection where I go and get a bunch of that stuff. Um, yeah. So, you know what? I'm going to call this an early episode. I'm going to end it off here. And uh, I will be back in the next episode. Oh, oh, dear. I was trying to get a cinematic shot for the episode, and I failed. There we go. So, yeah, I'll be back in the next episode. We will possibly go to the Lost Cities out there and uh, see what we can get. But uh, real quick, I'll make a quick sword. We'll probably get an Ender Sword out there, but it's all good. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Ta-ta, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!